Greetings. My name's Jim. We are at the Heaven and Earth Retreat on uh, the Rio Chiripo. I am a um, family doctor. I'm a board certified DO in the United States, a board certified MD in Canada, um, and have had experience with um, ayahuasca, this sacred plant ally, over the past 12 years, um, and in relation with um, Colleen Ariel Linsman, who is a master uh, shaman working with uh, plant medicines, sound healing, and vibrational healing. Uh, this is a process of deep transformation. Over the last 12 years, I have experienced personally significant uh, personal transformation, healing of some deep wounding, and um, it has been a very positive experience for me. Um, I have, uh, all in those 12 years working with Colleen, have experienced her growth as a master practitioner in this art. Um, she brings to bear um, knowledge of this plant medicine, working with sound healing and um, energetic uh, healing. This is a powerful modality for healing. I have seen it work uh, in numerous individuals on a very deep level. Uh, there is currently uh, significant uh, experimentation and trials working with um, anxiety, depression, PTSD, and uh, it is coming to the fore as a uh, very powerful healing modality. This is something that is much more effective than any kind of pharmaceutical treatment uh, that is offered by uh, conventional Western medicine. And um, we uh, have shared um, a group, um, 11 people, uh, over the course of the past uh, eight days or so in ceremony. Um, Inviting um, ayahuasca in a um, ritual format. Uh, so this is a very spiritual process. This is uh, not unlike going into mass, or temple, or mosque. Um, there's a spiritual aspect, a healing aspect to this. Um, physical healing, uh, the optimally going in one undergoes um, a uh, purified diet and limitation of uh, toxic uh, substances and, um, and I would say that this is not a recreational experience this is not a recreational substance this is a healing modality um, a very deep and powerful work uh, there are um, a number of people out there who have documented um, to work with this. Uh, I know uh, Dr. Gabor Matei, the one uh, I'm experienced with, and um, I feel that this has been of enormous benefit for myself and for everybody that I have um, shared the experience of this healing modality with, um, has um, experienced on some level deep uh, healing and transformation. And um, I am in deep gratitude for the opportunity to work with this medicine and gratitude for uh, Colleen Ariel for sharing her expertise in um, this process. And so, um, thank you. So my name is Evan, I'm from Canada. Uh, I spent the last 10 days here at Heaven Earth Sanctuary in Costa Rica, uh, working with ayahuasca, with Campbell, working with Bobasana, cacao, different medicines and healing modalities. Uh, I've been working with ayahuasca for just two years now, uh, and it's been absolutely life-changing. Uh, this trip in itself will be something I will never ever forget. The land here uh, is absolutely incredible the animals and the plants, things I've never seen before. Uh, and just having time to connect with that and, and just really spend time here, it's been, it's been amazing. Um, the way the retreat has gone has been, uh, it's felt effortless and flowy and uh, everything's been in, in right time. 
Uh, we've learned such beautiful songs here, um, shared such amazing experiences with uh, people who began as strangers, but who I now see as good friends of mine. Uh, and then just witnessing the development uh, within myself and within the group and within others, it's been, uh, it's been amazing. The food uh, has been amazing as well. It's been incredible. Uh, I came here with a lot of digestive issues and a lot of uh, problems in my stomach, a lot of pain every time I ate. Uh, after 10 days of being here, I can happily say I felt no pain since being here at all. Uh, and that is something I'm so grateful for. And, uh, so grateful for this retreat, for everybody who's come together to hold it, uh, all the offerings, uh, and for Carol and, uh, and her stewardship of this land. It's been amazing. Uh, yeah, this is something. This is something I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life. Um, truly, truly life changing. Just having the opportunity to step away from daily life and from the stories we tell ourselves and these, these uh, layers of, of who we think we are. Uh, being able to really return to to ourselves, to that inner little boy, little girl, that's been the biggest gift I've received here. To really remember who I am, and, uh, and I feel that that's going to stick around for quite a while, and I'm just so grateful, I'm so grateful for this experience. The river is absolutely wonderful. The waterfall, the sacred sites around here, all of the, the excursions we've been on, absolutely incredible uh, to be up high in the mountains like this surrounded by jungle it's just an experience that i'm so blessed and grateful to have um, yeah if anybody is curious about you know ayahuasca retreats or these healing centers and uh, even possibly whoever may be nervous about going to another country to do this uh, such a Offer this reassurance. It's it, this has been this has been absolutely life changing. I'm leaving here a totally different person than I arrived. Not somebody new, but somebody I've always been. Somebody I forgot about. Just so thankful. anxiety um, about a lot of things um, but also the trip itself um, and if you're watching this or reading this because you're doing your research and you're trying to decide like if this is the thing for you I'm saying do it a few days before I was due to fly out I emailed them in a panic I'm like what am I doing going to Costa Rica with a bunch of strangers going into the jungle to do this thing like I was freaked out about that too and I had no reason to be freaked out I mean it's natural to be freaked out but like from the email responses and the uh, voice email responses and meeting people, I mean, I quickly just like realized I didn't have to worry. And as soon as I got on the bus with all these other participants, a lot of them who have been working with her for years, one who had been working with Colleen for a dozen years, I'm like, if people keep coming back to her, like she's gotta be awesome. And every night I just felt so supported and held every day, every moment. And it's just so incredible that she has the energy to hold people like this. And I feel like the people who come to these retreats, they're all so supportive and amazing. And like, you really lift each other up. And being here in Costa Rica on this land in the mountains, on the river at Heaven and Earth Sanctuary, it's just been so incredible. I knew that if I went away on a retreat like this, I had to go far away and get out of my comfort zone. Like that was just, I knew this. And I certainly did that and it has been life-changing. It sounds like a cliche, it's cheesy, but it's totally true. 
Um, and I'm just so grateful. Um, oh, and I'm like looking at these big birds right now. It's just like so incredible. I don't know what those are. Um, yeah, like, highlights have included doing ecstatic dancing and our movement and being down by the river and the water cleansing by the river that we did yesterday. Oh, just deeply amazing. The food's been great and the combination's been great. People, like, it's all been so fantastic. And now we're gonna go home. <laughs> it's over. And yeah, I, it's just incredible that I came in a ball of anxiety and now I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like, you know, I'll go back and I'm good. And I feel like I need to do this once in a while to just keep that up. So yeah, again, if you're seeing or reading this because you're doing your research, like, take this from like a neurotic person. Like, you, you have nothing to worry about. Just go in, just trust and do it. Afternoon, everyone. So my name is uh, Adam Ploinski, country-wise, uh, Europe, Poland, living in Canada. So I just would like to share, you know, my experience in uh, ayahuasca with uh, Colleen, Chica, and um, Clarity. The whole experience is a beautiful journey. It's, it makes me uh, go through with my soul, with my um, with my inner uh, power, and it's really uh, it's really actually simple, but also in another in another way was difficult. It's good to it's good experience because I could experience myself in different ways. And was more like a spiritual way than uh, other way I could uh, experience that. And I'm grateful and uh, thanksful for it. Uh, experience with ayahuasca actually started with the combo uh, ceremony for me when I opened up my heart uh, completely. That was um, such a big, you know, uh, ceremony to actually go through to open up more for the ayahuasca process, and that helped me uh, to experience the, the nature, to experience the, the people, to, to be so connected, uh, overhaul with the, with the mother nature, with Pachamama. Also the. Water blessing was um, unbelievable experience because it's more um, connection with the with the nature, with the nature, and everything become like a one piece, like a, one portion of it. Also, land, land is unbelievable, especially for me the landscape, the, the, the colorful, you know, uh, leaves, the trees. Um, all the nature, the mountains with so much energy, the running river, the, the, the noises, the birds, with such a joyful peace in my heart and my soul. Uh, also people I've been surrounded with, uh, to make unbelievable experience to know them, to, to experience them, to uh, grow, to change in positive uh, way, like uh, from caterpillar to a butterfly. I was really enjoying that and, and be a witness of that too. Uh, food, yeah, food, food and uh, dieta. It's pretty much like a lifestyle. What I experienced in ayahuasca, you need to keep yourself um, clean and kind of empty. Don't abuse yourself with uh, too much food, but actually help you to um, enter to inside yourself, enter to uh, open up your heart and uh, 
you saw. So Yeta is really important part of actually of being here. And realize we don't need so much consumption of the fruit and uh, we can actually be happy with like uh, less consumption of it and, and be more lightful and, and, and feel light like a butterfly sometimes. Um, and prayer, prayer it's also really important to be grateful and thankful like I mentioned before and actually appreciation uh, of the work and uh, people around us and uh, our community and, and the way you speak to people, the way you, you know, you experience with them to open up, uh, make big difference. And the words we use, is like especially positive words, the words, you know, we need to uh, express more and make big difference for me too. Songs, songs open up so much your heart and your soul and give you so much information, so much joy and uh, uh, it's like knowledge, so much knowledge when you listen to the lyrics you go through and then actually the lyrics they show you how to you know um, go through your life and it's like more like instruction manual you know um, instruction how to operate in the real life and uh, how you su supposed to be connected and open with uh, with the nature and people and that's about it uh, beautiful experience recommended to everyone 100 percent thank you so much and have a beautiful day thank you For the The Madre Aya retreat in Costa Rica was truly life-changing for me. I got to really go deep in my healing journey and clear some major blockages. Along four ceremonies, we also sat in a sweat lodge and got to receive a beautiful water cleansing herbal bath by Colleen who held impeccable space for us during this retreat with her medicine music, her sound healing, and her role as a leader and a teacher for the community. The group was truly magical, and the land of the heaven and earth sanctuary is a really special place here on earth. I would recommend this experience to anyone who is ready to go deep. And your waves come rolling home. So my name is Andrew. I'm from Canada. Um, I'm a former military vet in the Canadian Forces and what brought me here was my own healing journey. So I've been diagnosed with PTSD. I had uh, quite a challenge along, uh, along that journey and the process. And it has led me to a number of different places to, to see if I could work through it and heal. And, uh, and I found myself here. So uh, this place, the name definitely fits the um, the scenery and, and really how beautiful it is. It's just the, the surroundings, the nature, 
of the environment itself is really, really inviting of a, of the healing process. So, beyond that, working with Colleen, Ashika and Clarity has been quite, uh, quite unbelievable, actually. I've noticed a huge shift in myself since I've been here. It's really, really been a process of deep work. You know, this place looks like paradise, but it is um, by no means an easy process. However, it's absolutely worth it to go through and to, to be able to go inward and face some of the challenges uh, head on that I personally have been experiencing. Um, and uh, in doing so, I've noticed that it's certainly paid off considerably. So uh, I'm just incredibly grateful to Colleen, Shika, and Clarity for um, for this experience, for holding this container for us, and for um, the, de the dedication that they have um, to their work. It's really quite incredible and um, inspiring, and who knows, maybe it'll lead me down a similar path in, uh, in holding space and, and helping others as well. So, yeah, just feeling a lot lighter and um, and a lot more clear in my journey forwards and, um, yeah. and again just an uh, incredible amount of gratitude